bless you. I'm your minister and your friend, Pastor Eddie B. Pruitt Jr. with another installment of my blog. I was just thinking, we celebrated uh, the time of Pentecost last Sunday at Holiness Tabernacle, as many of you all did. And what an awesome move of God we experienced. I mean, God just moved in the room and it wasn't because it was Pentecost. You know, too often I see this in the church today. We go 364 days a year and seldom is ever mentioned about the Holy Ghost, about the baptism in the Spirit experience until Pentecost. And once it's come and gone, it's back to business as usual. We're operating in the flesh. People trying to lead without the gift of the Holy Ghost. People trying to work in the church without the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this is a grave mistake. Jesus gave instructions to the disciples. There were 11 of them that were left. And he told them to go back to Jerusalem and stay there. Wait, tarry, until you are filled with the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Then they would be witnesses. My friends, I, 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 it's sad for me to have to say this, but it's, it's just the truth. We're witnesses. Some of us are not good witnesses because we have not had the full experience of being filled with the Holy Ghost. I encourage you today. The Holy Ghost, he's not an option. He is one that dwells inside of us and he empowers us to do what Jesus commanded to be witnesses. The world today is suffering because there aren't enough credible witnesses. Oh, people say they have the spirit. People say that they're Christian, but their lives their motivation, the way they love, the way they forgive, lacks the endorsement of the power that Christ commanded us to receive. Yes, commanded. It wasn't an option. Do it if you feel like it. One time someone told me, you know, when you go to buy a car, uh, the steering wheel isn't an option. They said the windshield is not an option. Brakes aren't an option. They come with the package. The Holy Ghost experience should not be an option. He should come with the package. Christ promised us another comforter. So I was just thinking, what would happen if the Holiness Church returned to its roots and encouraged every believer to be filled with the Holy Ghost? God bless you. I bless you in the name of the Lord.